Cursor One has finally been released and I'm going to go through some of the changes that I think people don't realize are quite as big a deal as they actually are. The first one I'm really excited about is Bugbot. Now this is probably going to put to shame like TaskRabbit or Sorcery, which basically means any pull request that's going on your GitHub, Cursor is going to run tests against it and pick up any bugs or anything that it thinks you need to fix. You're then able to click on it and fix it directly inside a Cursor and obviously push up those changes and get them sorted. It's a great option for a proactive automatic coding buddy. The next one I'm really excited about is background agents. Now to turn this on, you're gonna need privacy mode turned off, which shares your data with cursor, so bear that in mind. And under beta, you can go to background agent and switch that on. You should have a little cloud icon here, or you can click command or control E, which is gonna bring up this prompt window which you can give it tasks to do to run in the background whilst you work on your main task. This can be great for little bugs or things that you notice through your using of the app that you don't want to distract from the current tasks you are on. Cursor will spin up your website in a virtual environment, run that task automatically for you to pick up or merge or, or do whatever you want to do with it. They are working on a privacy mode for this but while it's in beta, it's just for non-privacy users, unfortunately. And you will notice that it does use the max modes on all of these models. What this is going to mean is that anything you run is going to cost you that extra on top of your normal cursor subscription plan. This replaces the need for, say, Codex or Jewels because it's right there inside of your window. The other one here that I'm really excited about is memories. And if you're familiar with anything like Claude code, you'll be familiar with the Claude.md files, which you can pepper throughout your code base at various different sort of levels. It maintains documentation and an idea of what's going on depending on the level you put it at. And what's really cool is it updates as it learns more about you. It learns more about how you write code and what's happening in those various layers of context. Again, you're gonna to wanna to go into settings here and with privacy mode disabled, you go into rules and you can generate memories. And this is gonna automatically update as your code base learns about you, learns about your code. This is going to go so far in helping you write consistent code and your team write consistent code and maintain little nuances that you don't encounter a lot and you often forget as you're working on big code bases. I'd like to see a more sort of nuanced version of this where you can set memories up four folders like you do on Claude, but this is a great step forward all within the cursor IDE. And the last update, which I really don't think is getting enough support, is the one-click installation of MCP servers. Now, MCP servers are a bit technical to set up, and they're a bit of a faff, but they can be so powerful in running extra tool calls with a single prompt. And with one-click installation, this is going to be like the App Store of MCP servers. Now, you've got a few here they've already set up. So if I want to install GitHub, I've just got to click this, click Install, and it's done. I've got that MCP server set up in Cursor, and I can run those tool calls or have that be part of my work workflow whenever it suits me. Overall, I can see why this is a 1.0 release. These are game-changing features, and I don't use that term lightly, but there's some really key features here that are gonna reshape, or at least set the ball rolling on some very important developer workflows that many of us haven't quite tapped into yet. Background agents, memory files, one-click access to MCP servers, these are really, really key features, and I'm so surprised that they're all in just one release here, but I'm excited. Let me know what you're most excited about this release down in the comments, because I'm looking for ways to improve my workflow, and maybe there's something I haven't picked up on here. But I'm continuing the charge as a Cursor fanboy, even though I've been using Claude Code for the last month. So like, double check that subscribe button just to make sure you are. Thank you to my Patreons for supporting the channel, and thank you for watching until the end of the episode. Your support really means the world. Until next time, keep on vibing.